If it seems like forever since you last saw Mexico play, that's because their last match was way back in November of last year. Mexico originally had two friendlies scheduled in March against Greece and the Czech Republic, and then was followed up by a highly anticipated friendly against Colombia in May. This was then going to be followed up by the CONCACAF Nations League Final Four in June. Sadly, all of these matches had to be cancelled. However, I'm here to bring some good news, and that is that Mexico has set a return date with a friendly scheduled for October the 7th later this year. If all goes well, this will be Mexico's first match of 2020, and it will be against the Netherlands. If you'd like a refresher on Mexico's form going into 2020, I would definitely recommend my 2019 Tata Martino analysis video when you get the chance. Also, be sure to watch until the end of this video to see if you're our lucky winner of our jersey giveaway. It has been a long time since Mexico has played, and a long time since we have seen this Mexico squad together. And needless to say, a lot has changed in that time. In today's video, I also want to discuss the highs and lows of two of Mexico's strikers. One is absolutely tearing it up in England, while the other one is sadly languishing in Italy. We're going to talk about Raul Jimenez and El Chucky Lozano. Raul Jimenez currently has 52 appearances and 26 goals in all competitions for the 2019-20 season. 17 of those goals are in the Premier League where he is currently tied for 6th place top goal scorer. Jimenez is in good company as he shares a spot with the likes of Harry Kane, Sadio Mane, and Marcus Rashford. Not bad company at all if I do say so myself. And the Wolves are definitely enjoying having Jimenez around as they are currently 6th in the table with one more match to go before the end of the season. And with the great season that Jimenez has had, he has been linked with some big clubs with the likes of Manchester United and Juventus being linked to the native of Hidalgo. Unfortunately, Lady Luck has not been so kind to El Chucky Lozano who has only managed 30 appearances and 5 goals in all competitions for the 2019-20 season. In fact, in the Serie A, he has only managed 4 goals and 1 assist. Lozano's having a hard time securing his spot in Napoli starting 11. But why? Well, many can pinpoint when the trouble started to when Gattuso became head coach in December of 2019. Since then, Lozano has struggled for playing time, and I would argue a major factor is Gattuso replacing Carlo Ancelotti. Gattuso is known for his high energy and aggressive personality. Quite the polar opposite from Ancelotti, who is regularly seen as calm and composed. Another major reason why Lozano may be struggling could be style of play. Lozano played for PSV before switching to the Serie A and Lozano is known for his pace and dribbling ability that he uses to beat defenders. And while this may have worked in the Netherlands, the Serie A is renowned for their defensive skills. In truth, Lozano knew this and felt this would help him grow as a player. However, this cannot be what Lozano envisioned as he has primarily been glued to the bench all season. And I actually talked about this all in my player analysis video that I did on El Chucky Lozano, so if you're interested, I'm going to leave a tag up here if you'd like to go and check it out. Now, there have been rumors of a transfer for El Chucky Lozano, but unlike Jimenez, this is more of a dire strait. With the current situation in the world, club's finances have been hit very hard. And with Lozano's hefty price tag, Napoli will not be keen to take a loss on their young winger. But could we see Lozano make a transfer to the Premier League? Newcastle United and West Ham have both been linked as interested in the young winger. But is a move to Everton more likely as this is where Ancelotti is currently the head coach? So perhaps a reunion is on the cards. Mexico need Lozano playing regularly, and they need him in good form. I do not see this happening if he stays with Napoli. Well, so long as Gattuso is around anyway. But as always guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you think El Chucky Lozano should fight it out and stay in Napoli for his spot in the starting 11? Or do you think with Gattuso around, who seems to have a personal vendetta against El Chucky, 
Is it better for him to just start over and move over to a new club in hopes of regular playing time and so that he can keep the form he was in just last year? But now, as promised, we will move on to the giveaway and let's see who the lucky winner is who's going to win their favorite team's jersey absolutely free. As always, guys, I want to give y'all a huge thank you for supporting the channel and to everybody who entered this month's giveaway. We continue to grow strong and this is only possible because of every single one of you. I decided to switch things up a little bit and use a wheel this time around, but as always, luck has to be on your side. Let's give this a spin now, and the winner is Burrow Nation, who joined on Twitter. And if you didn't win this giveaway, fret not, as there are plenty more to come. So subscribe if you haven't already to not miss out on any future videos, future giveaways, and as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.